share with you <clears throat> something nice in this week's parsha, Shemini, from the Rebbe's father, Rebbe Levi Yitzhak Zatzal. This week's parsha opens up, Ahiba Yerbe Shemini, it was on the eighth day where Hashem dedicated Chanukah Sabayis from the Mishkan. Seven days prior was the Shiva Shimei Hamiluyim, the preparation week for the great day of the, of the opening Hanukkah's Hamishkan, which happened under Shchoidish Nisan. Now it's known the Medrash that the Mishkan, the Abishta gathered, or told Moshe Ben gather all the Yidn Mayakal Moshe as called Bnei Yisrael. And when was that? That was the day after Yom Kippur, where Hashem forgave the Yidin for the mistake of the Cheta Eagle, the golden calf. And a day after Yom Kippur, Hashem said, I forgive them. And now we should build a home together. That was the Mishkan. The Yidin, that says in Medrash, built it very, very quickly. And from Yud Aleph Tishrei, when they got the command, it was finished so quick. And Chof Hei, Kislev, the day that Hanukkah, many years later, started. Hashem, the, the Yidden finished the Mishkan. Now, Hashem said, although the Mishkan is finished, still in all, I do not want to dedicate the, the Mishkan till Rishchodesh Nisan, which means they waited another three months. Chodesh Teves, Shvat, and other. And there's so much medrash and reasons about this. We won't go into it now. So, and they wish to promise, you know, that Anchof Hei Kislev, the day that the Mishkan should have been dedicated, I will eventually make a Yom Tif, and that's the Yom Tif of Hanukkah. So the Yom Tif of Hanukkah has, the Anchof Hei Kislev has a very special connection to Vayihi Bayoy Mashmini. And that is the reason the Rebbe's father brings down that and what is the Kriyas HaToyda? What do we read on Hanukkah? We read the whole, all the gifts that's in the end of Pashas Nosoy, which happened on Meshchoydish Nisan by the dead, the Hanukkah Samizbeach, Hanukkah Samishka. So, <coughs> so the, <coughs> there is a very big connection between Hanukkah and the time of Ahibi Yemashmini when it started, the gifts, by all the Shvatim, and that's what we read on Hanukkah. Sajra Blav a very interesting remez in the name of Hanukkah hinting to all this. Number one, the first letter of the word Hanukkah is Ches. Ches is eight, symbolizing that this Yom Tev, and the first letter of everything is always the most important letter of the word, symbolizing that this Yom Tev of Hanukkah is connected to Vayihi B'yoy Mashmini on the eighth day which was hinting to the Hanukkahs, ha, Hamishkan Hanukkah Samazbeach. There is another very interesting hint in the name and the letters of Hanukkah. And that is that we know on that day, unfortunately, as brought down in Pashas Achrei, two sons, we were right in Pashas the two sons of uh, of Aaron Akoyen went in, not of Avil, and they by Krivam Ish Zorel of Hashem, they brought an unwishful, without the command, a alien fire, so to say, they brought Ketoides into the Holy of Holies, and unfortunately they were killed. So that was on, on the eighth day of Ahibi Yemashmini, what happened with Nodav Avil. Serge Rabbi Yitzhak, all this is hinted. In the name of Hanukkah, another connection between the, what, what happened on Hanukkah with the Hanukkah's Hamishkan. If you take the letters of Hanukkah, the, the Rebbe's father divides it like this. You have the letter Ches, symbolizing the Hebrew to the day when they made the Hanukkah's Hamishkan, which was on the eighth day after the Shiva Shimei Hamilui, that's the Ches. The next two letters is Nun Vov, 56. 56 adds up to Nodov, Nun Dalav, base is 56. So on the eighth day, something happened to 
a gematria of nun vav, which is nodav. Nodav and avihu. You take avihu, the letters of avihu, it adds up exactly to 25. And that's the, the, the final letters of chanu, chofei, the last two letters, chofei, 25, hinting to avihu. So in the name of Hanukkah, we have so beautiful how it connects and tells you that what happened that this Yom Tif is connected to the Chanukas, Hamishkan, Ches is for the eighth day, Nunva for Nodov, Chofei for Avihu, and hinting at that day happened the whole story with Nodov, Avihu. We see again how every single uh, Indian and Torah is so connected, so beautiful in the style and the learning of Rebbe Levi Yitzchak.